Hello everyone, SW Gaming here, and we have some new information about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga using an all new engine that has never been before used by LEGO games. And this comes from an article by PlayStation Lifestyle, and I'll have it linked in the description down below. In an interview with Nintendo Everything, creative lead Arthur Parsons provided some additional details about the upcoming saga. The Skywalker Saga was put in development after LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens was finished. While the thought of doing individual games for Episode 8 and 9 appealed to Traveler's Tales, they decided it was time to sit down and get everything in one single game. We did Episode 7 and at that time we looked at that and we thought, that's a great experience and rather than just do 8 next time, let's do the whole thing. Let's rebuild it from the ground up, from scratch. This isn't like a normal LEGO game, this is a big step up for us, so we wanted to take the opportunity to take that big step with all new tech and just make it the ultimate Star Wars celebration, all nine movies. While most of the interview deals with the Nintendo Switch version of the game, there were some interesting tidbits that apply to all versions. The biggest, however, the Skywalker Saga is running on an all new engine with all new tech behind it. While they haven't said what the engine is, if it's a new in-house engine or the unrealistic Unreal Engine 4, they did, an, uh, they did at least confirm that it's all new for LEGO games. We can say that it's brand new technology from the ground up. Everything with this game is brand new tech. We've never used this before and we can definitely say that. In terms of how proprietary it is, we can't say. Another major part of the interview had to do with unlocking things and exploring the various locations during different timelines. Traveler's Tales explain that unlocked things will carry over to each episode and that you can use anything from any episode in the game's free play mode. They also talked about how different episodes will have different locations to visit, such as Jabba's sand barge not existing on Tatooine in the prequel or sequel trilogies. Let's say you have unlocked a bunch of characters. You have free play in all of the games and you're free to use all those characters as you unlock them. You'll make the galaxy expand the more you play it as well. The things that you collect, the kind of bricks, the unlockables. That kind of thing carries th through with you as well. Did you see the giant Lego sail barge? If you were there in a different episode, that wouldn't even be there, right? Because that wouldn't be within that timeline. All of the worlds are as dynamic as well. You can carry stuff over and experience different things depending on what mission and what episode you're playing on as well. Now, besides the new game engine, none of this sounds new, because you could all do this in previous LEGO games. You could play as different characters and unlock different parts uh, within the level. So the last part of the interview doesn't really seem like anything new, um, but there's still a quite a bit to be excited about with the LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga hopefully coming pretty soon. Um, and hopefully we'll get some new information about it from E3. Let me know what you think about this new news in the comment below and whether or not the new game engine will have a huge impact on the way that the new LEGO Star Wars video game looks and runs. Now if the trailers are any indication, this is a huge step in graphics from the last LEGO Star Wars game and it has me even more excited about the potential release date and finally getting to play the game that I've wanted to play for so long. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more LEGO Star Wars updates and Star Wars gameplay videos.